yes, working with Ken in case team was really enjoyable for me. And uh, it, uh, it is, uh, I work with a very excellent working environment. And just little, I want to say that just from my experience, workshop one, I was less confident to interact with the participant. I felt that it had uh, made them during the interview time with the other, other team members. It would make me feel more confident in the beginning of the workshop one. And I was really anxious during that time, the start of the workshop one about the interaction of the participant. But workshop two, I was very much confident to interact with the participant because I already know them. And that's why I like to tell to the, my other team member that if we can work together earlier from the interview of the participant, it will be easier for consumer co-facilitator who come from the outside to interact during the workshop. I think, this is the thing, just few things I would like to tell you that, my team. Uh, Ashfaq, I had, I, I feel I've been honored to work with you guys as a team. It was amazing to work with, um, um, you know, Dr. Rima, uh, Professor Rima Harrison and, you know, Dr. Bronwyn Newman and yourself. It was amazing experience. And I just want to say, well done, congratulations and well done. And I would like you guys, you know, to be encouraged and, and please continue and keep researching. Uh, for me, it's social etiquette and networking 101. These are built on foundation of real relationships, mutual respect and true reciprocation. So make sure that you stay in touch uh, with those that you involved in the team. For some practical examples, you can investigate immediately when asking consumers to join your research teams, committees, boards, etc., through an expression of interest. Ask yourself, as researchers, what are, we, what are we asking potential consumers for and why are we asking potential consumers for this? We make the recruitment process too complicated to complete and ask for unnecessary information, such as what's your occupation, what skills do you have, what other member organizations are you affiliated with? Um, even worse, it's a compulsory question that doesn't allow you to move on or skip that question. So you need to ask yourself, what, what is the purpose of this question? And is it a deal breaker? If not, don't put it in. Instead, ask their, ask about their lived experiences as a carer, patient, family, community member. Ask them why they're passionate about the causes they advocate for. Ask them how they can help participate in research. Do they need training? Do they need to have a discussion? Do they need some translations or interpretations? Also, your websites. Are your websites consumer friendly? Easy to access and navigate with complicate, without complicated jargon. Do they have multiple communication options that will increase the chances of having them on board? Um, also, acronyms. Oh my God, acronyms. <laughs> Please have an ongoing list of acronyms to provide during their onboarding. Have it at the back of every meeting uh, agenda issued. Don't assume we know because most times we don't. Provide regular updates where the, um, you know, in cases where there's something to report or not to report, particularly for long-term studies. Remember, consumer representatives are part of the research team to treat them as such. Well, the message to the Ken Engage research team is, please continue with the great work that you are doing. Continue the partnership and training to upskill the consumers that are involved in your project. And perhaps, you know, develop a simplified version of co-design EBCD training for people with low English and literacy levels. The one I'm meaning is like those who have arrived recently in Australia and refugees, because by doing that, they can also be participate and contribute and share their lived experience as a consumer as well. So yes, the whole project um, meet my, met my expectation, but I would say that it was beyond and above what I as expected. I'm so happy that I was given this opportunity to participate with an engaged project. Thank you.